I'm Bob Harris of Decorative Concrete Institute. Welcome to Duraman's training and educational series for industrial and decorative concrete flooring systems. We're about to demonstrate Purdue UMC, which stands for Urethane Modified Concrete, and uh, UMC is a polyurethane concrete flooring system. It's a three component urethane modified cementitious uh, flooring system, and if you choose to, you can make a, a fourth component out with a pigment pack. Um, these little pigment packs go in after you've uh, mixed all three components together and is offered in uh, nine standard colors. This system provides excellent impact, abrasion, and chemical resistance. Also, the system provides thermal shock. This product is commonly used in a wide variety of different applications, ranging from commercial kitchens, food prep areas, breweries, for example, slaughterhouses, and, and many, many more applications. Purdue UMC comes in three grades. TG, which stands for trial grade, SL, which stands for self-leveling, and SC, which is a sealer coat, which can also be used as a primer. Surface prep is crucial when you're using this system. You should try to obtain a minimum uh, concrete surface profile of five. Um, we demonstrated on other videos what the concrete surface profile of five should look like. Typically, in order to get this profile of five, shot blasting is by far the best method and the best tool to use to get this aggressive profile for adhesion of the product. If shot blasting is not practical, you can in fact use a dustless grinder as an option to profile your concrete. You'd really want to use a very coarse diamond such as a 16 grit uh, on the bottom of a planetary head grinding machine. Um, and if you do use that as an option, you need to prime that surface with Purdue SC as a prime coat prior to the installation of this um, product. We're about to mix our Purdue UMC. Couple of observations. Once you've mixed all the components together, the stopwatch starts. You literally should only mix for two minutes and you only have roughly five minutes, of course, depending on the conditions, to get it out of the bucket and get it down on the floor. Now look, once you have it on the floor, you've got a little bit of working time, but I can't stress the importance of getting it out of the bucket, getting it onto the floor. For today's demonstration, we're just gonna simply hand trowel it, and the coverage rate at uh, a quarter inch thick is about 25 square feet, and uh, we're gonna be putting it down on 15 square feet, but uh, at 3 eighths of an inch thick, you're, you're looking at a coverage rate of about 16 square feet per, um, per kit. So on a large commercial type application, um, they're, they're actually mixing the components together, the three components, or if it has color, the four components, and they're putting it into a spreader box on the floor. So it's a specific tool that's used to dispense the material at a very um, specific elevation. So you can really um, expedite and put this product down much, much quicker by using a, a spreader box, or it's called a screed box, okay? Um, I, do, I have seen contractors when using these materials, the day before they actually install it, they chill or they cool everything down. In other words, it's almost like they're icing everything down. And that's going to extend your working time by roughly five, maybe seven minutes. So, so just uh, it's going to take some experimenting when you're starting off with this product. But once you um, develop the skill of putting it down, it is an extremely durable system. So we're going to go ahead and um, we've already got our part A in our bucket ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get busy on the mixing here couple safety issues. This is cement based, so once we start dumping the powder into the bucket, we want to wear our respirator. And uh, well, let's get busy and we're going to mix part B into part A. Just like all of the other resins that we've talked about, we really don't we'll, um, make sure you don't dump any of the resins on the side of the bucket. Go right into the middle. And now we start mixing.
All right, we just finished mixing our, uh, our urethane modified concrete and it is super crucial to get it down onto the slab fast. Um, it's mixed for roughly two minutes. You can see the consistency and uh, I'm just leave a little bit behind here. So first thing I'm doing is just getting it spread out everywhere. We know that we have a three foot by five foot board, so theoretically this material should be perfect to cover this uh, square footage. All right. Despite that it looks ultra thick, it actually has a little bit of healing or leveling properties to it. So you can see that I'm just working quickly to get the material dispensed out onto our board. Still just a little bit on the thick side over here. Okay, now we've got it more or less where we want it and it's time to just refine it, meaning smooth it out a little bit. It is a good idea to have a margin trowel and maybe some solvent with you. You want to keep your trowel clean. All right, so now that I have this uh, more or less what I wanted, I'm just gonna give, uh, give this a quick clean. Coverage rate was just exactly what we said it would be. That's about it. That's the surface that we're looking for. I'm applying quite a bit of pressure to the trowel and I want you to notice the angle of my trowel. You have to keep it angled up in the air like you see.
once you learn how to work with a system like this, you can really help elevate your business for commercial type applications and some of the applications like we mentioned. Uh, food prep areas, this is a key product to use in uh, conditions like that. Every project has its own unique qualities. For this reason, that's why it's important to consult your Duraman representative for project specific questions. Now you may have questions on mix ratios, which is certainly listed on their website, uh, or other project concerns such as moisture. Now the industry standard is uh, three pounds of moisture vapor transmission in 1,000 square feet in a 24 hour window. Now Duraman has a complete line of moisture related products. For example, Purdue MVT will uh, take eight pound readings and it will uh, cover up to eight pounds in a thousand square feet in 24 hours. Purdue MVT Plus will uh, get you 18 to 20 pounds of moisture vapor transmission and bring it down to within acceptable tolerances. And also a great system to consider is Purdue UMC, which is the ure urethane modified concrete, which is good up to 18 to 20 pounds of moisture vapor transmission.